Some people say, we live in a three-dimensional world, but if we add time, it's four-dimensional. They base this on Einstein's theory of relativity. According to relativity, our world consists of three spatial dimensions, X, Y, Z, and one time dimension forming a four-dimensional space-time. This argument might sound plausible on the surface, but it fundamentally misunderstands the concept. Here, the so-called fourth dimension refers to time within the space-time continuum, not an additional spatial dimension. These people also misunderstand entropy in a similar way. They claim entropy increasing is the flow of time. So their logic is that if entropy decreases, time reverses. This is utterly ridiculous. In reality, it's the other way around. Entropy increases in the direction of time. This phenomenon is known as the arrow of time in physics. As time progresses, the disorder of a system increases. For example, a room naturally becomes messier over time because entropy increases. If your mom cleans the room, she uses energy to decrease the entropy, but that doesn't mean time is reversing. It simply means that energy is being used to restore order. Another crucial point is that energy is also dependent on time. The process of using energy to decrease entropy takes time. For example, it takes time to clean a room. So when energy is used to decrease entropy, it is always within the context of the flow of time. You can't escape the passage of time in this process. According to special relativity, time cannot reverse unless we have negative mass, which doesn't exist. Claiming that decreasing entropy can reverse time is utter nonsense. When we commonly talk about the fourth dimension, we mean an additional spatial dimension. That is beyond the three spatial dimensions, X, Y, Z, there is another spatial dimension. Understanding this fourth spatial dimension is incredibly difficult for us who live in a three-dimensional world. We live in a three-dimensional world with length, width, and height. For example, think about a desk. A desk has length, width, and height. We can freely move around in this three-dimensional space. The fourth dimension adds another spatial dimension to these three. Imagine we live inside a box. Thinking about a new dimension outside this box is hard. The fourth dimension is like imagining a world beyond the box. Imagine we understand everything inside a box. Suddenly, someone says, actually, there's another world outside this box. It's like a game character trying to understand the world outside the game. We find it similarly hard to understand the fourth dimension. What happens if we add time to this? If we take the three spatial dimensions, X, Y, Z, add an extra spatial dimension and then add time, we get five-dimensional space-time. This concept is even more difficult to grasp. Us trying to understand the fourth dimension is like a cat chasing a laser pointer, unable to grasp where the light comes from. The cat asks, why is this moving like this? Just like we ask, what is the fourth dimension? In conclusion, saying that adding time makes it four-dimensional comes from Einstein's theory of relativity. This means combining our familiar three-dimensional space with time. However, when we talk about the fourth dimension here, we mean an additional spatial dimension. To understand this, we might need to fundamentally change our way of thinking. And if we add time, we're actually talking about five-dimensional space-time. And just because your mom cleans the room doesn't mean time is going backward. Subscribe it.